Hello, this is Princess Omni, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. I'm gonna say it weird every episode, I swear. Anyway, uh, we're down here in the depths of Kaneshiro's palace at the central underground vault. Uh, and in this episode, we're gonna solve the mystery of the PIM, whatever that means. Uh, by which, we have this over here. The lock is currently engaged. Please enter the requisite pin. What? Pin. So is this going to open one of the vaults? Hmm. There's something written above the number on the pad here. Or, or written above the number pad on here. Rich. This is disgusting. How obsessed can one man be with his money? Wait. There might be something more than that. Do you think this is connected to that journal? Indeed. Hmm. Let me think. If I remember correctly, it said R equals C equals 0. I equals 1. H equals 2. See? It has all the letters in the word rich. Huh. That might be worth a try. Can you do it, Joker? I'm gonna figure it out. Agreed. We will leave it to you. The treasure may be beyond here. If you get confused, just take a look at Kanashiro's journal. It's among our belongings. So, uh, this, as far as I can tell, is a very- is an always consistent puzzle between, uh, saves. It's not randomized. Just like how the, uh, binary- Wait, we haven't gotten to that palace yet. <laughs> So as far as I can tell, this puzzle is always consistent between playthroughs. Uh, so all of the solutions are things that I already know about, but I'm going to try and show you how you're supposed to know these instead of just solving them for you. We already have all the clues we need in order to solve the rich puzzle. So, uh, let's see here. The pin, uh, because of how uh, all of this is set up, is 0, 1, 0, 2. And we also have to hit enter. What the? The whole vault moved. So my deduction may be correct. M money. I need more money. I must grow richer. As long as I'm rich, anything will be possible. Huh? That voice. It's Kaneshiro. Is he watching us? That doesn't seem to be the case. It sounds more like the voice of his heart. I guess all he really thinks about is money, after all. <laughs> so he blackmails people out of their savings and that's still not enough? What a douche. More importantly, the message in the journal was the pin code. That aside. Yes, it seems so, but it will be that easy from this point forward. The rest of the pages were torn out of the journal. Who knows what clues they may hold? Well, let's not get pessimistic. We should look around and try to find some other clues. Time to head further in and find those pins. So yeah, the second half of the dungeon is focused on unlocking this uh, central chamber doorway vault thing. That was a sentence. Uh, and getting further and further deeper inside until we make it all the way to the center of the area. And by doing so, uh, to do so, we're going to have to go to uh, down into some side areas here. So that's basically how this uh, dungeon is going to be like from here on out. I think it's kind of a nifty idea for a dungeon puzzle, since there's really only so much you could do with a bank anyway. Although, you know, a museum and a bank, that's definitely things that a phantom thief would hit. Which is aesthetically nifty. Oh, we got Sayo! Oh, uh, can I get rid of? <clears throat> I'm kind of okay with getting rid of Maasai, to be perfectly honest. So let's do that. Whoa, and we got Firebreak for On. Okay. Make it so that enemies that uh, have a reduced resistance to uh, fire. Let's get rid of these cameras real quick. Most excellent. That'll help us out with the area beyond here. Now let's head into this room over here. Uh, this... There we go. <clears throat> ah, it's another new enemy here. The Rakshasa, aka the Battlefield. 
Now, these guys resist physical and are immune to... They resist physical and fire and they're immune to gun, but they're also weak to wind and bless. So I guess we could do the insta-kill if we really wanted to, but there's no need for that. You know what I could have future me in editing do is put the, the clues we've gathered so far into like a, a corner of the screen or something so that it's just always there you know, for like reference in the LP. That'd be an idea, and then that way we can add on to it and use that as like a guideline to help you figure out what the puzzles are. I don't know. Joker. We may have found the controls we've been looking for. Anything we can do here? Ooh, that opens up a new area. Nifty. Yes! Oh look, the shutter's gone. We can keep going now. Attention all guards, attention all guards. The rats have made their way to every floor. Tighten security at all levels. They must not proceed any further. Protect the golden pig at all costs. Man. Man, he seems really worked up. He must truly not want us gaining access to this golden pig. You notice? Well, pretty sure that one there is the one he's mentioned. Pretty suspicious if you ask me. And we get a torn page. Hmm, there's a note here. It says P equals I. The hell is that supposed to mean? Wait, the edge of it is torn. Maybe it came from Kanashiro's journal? Nice. Oh, so it's the continuation of the code we found in there. This should be useful. Alrighty. I can feel it. Let's head on over around here. Ooh, I don't want to get caught. I want to grab that item, but I also Show want to get caught. Let's take care of this enemy. Alright. Uh, that takes care of this part over here, and we needed to do all of that nonsense in the square room anyway in order to move on. So, ooh, we got another pin here. Hmm. Reap is written on this one. How unsightly. Alright, let's see. Uh, now I believe... Yeah, we do not have the clue for E or A yet. So, let's not go there quite now. Hmm. Let's see. Can't go through that door either, so... Unfortunately, we'll just have to continue on from here. Uh, any of these have treasure? This one has treasure. Right. If we head on down the stairs... Oh god, there's enemies on the other side. Sneak over here and break this guy's neck. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Uh, now we can go over this way, and you might notice that there's like a ledge up there that we can't really get up uh, to, because uh, we would need to jump down from the other side, so unfortunately we're just going to have to sneak around over this way. And they're always easy. Ooh, that's different. Well, at least lets us climb up this way to grab some treasure. Model gun. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got another golden pig over here. This little piggy went all the way home. Torn page 2, which says E equals 9 and A equals 3. EA Sports. Uh, it seems like the to be the same one as the it seems to be the same as the one we found earlier the edge here is frayed as well nice. perfect the more hints we find the closer we get to solving the code come on let's hurry over to the input machine so now we have the code to solve that uh input machine that we met up with earlier so let's head on up here and conveniently find a way to uh just get right to it well, that's nice of them to provide this really handy shortcut Name of God's Green Earth is. See it. Hmm. I have something really cryptic in my notes that I'm not sure I ran into at all. So I, I really I don't I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, uh, reap is the code here. Uh, and we should now have the hints that we need in order to do uh, all of these letters. So the code for reap is zero nine three and one. There we go. 
I suppose if you really wanted to, without trying to like solve the areas, you could just try and brute force guess all of these, I think. I don't think there's much of a penalty for getting it wrong, as far as I'm aware. This isn't anywhere near your quota for this month. Don't give me your excuses, just go reap every last penny. His voice again. I'll make it- I'll make you understand if you don't get it. People who can't earn money are worthless to me. He's completely distorted. It looks like he really believes money is more important than human life. What a pitiful man. Let's go! Yeah, let's finish this quick. The door's probably opened up, so we should head back and check it out. What do you think, Joker? Should we head straight over to the vault? Yeah, we might as well. There's nothing else we can really do here. But yeah, I was saying, you could, so theoretically, brute force guess uh, until you get it right, since I don't think there's any penalty, but good luck trying to find the correct combination of four numbers out of a total possible of ten digits, because uh, I'm not about to do the math for the sake of just this video, but I don't think your uh, chances are really high. <laughs> I don't think the, the combination slash permutations are in your favor on this one, viewers. Plus, I also don't think you really want to Google search how to do that kind of guesswork because uh, there's certain other four-digit numbers that you probably don't want to have information about guessing spread on the internet for. All right, a chest. For Joker, it's a chest. Okay, so on this little four here, uh, Vault 2F, we've got... An enemy that somehow will not see us. Because logic. And uh, electrical fencing all over the place four. that we can't really get past. That we'll just have to find a way to deal with somehow. Alrighty. So yeah, we can't get past this electrical fencing, which means that this door and that treasure over there, those are sealed off from us right now. But what we can do is we can use these uh, shelves to sneak around and try and navigate our way through. Somewhere. And see what we can get. Let's see, we've got a doge enemy over here. Dog with the shadow on. Shadow dog. Shadows on the dog. I'll your true form. <laughs> Easier than cleaning my brushes. Yep. You could say that again. Alright, so, uh, yeah, like I said, the electrical fencing all over the place, so let's see if we can't find a way past all that. Haha! -ha! This shelf over here is short enough for us to climb on top of, and that'll give us access to even more of the area than we had before. So if we hop over this way... Excellent! It's a treasure chest! Uh, yep. Uh, if we, we can access it, we can get the treasure chest, sure, why not? Uh, let's just take this. this way. Ah, see, okay, so, we've got a little thing over here. We can use that to deactivate the electrical fences and that'll lead us uh, further on in the area, should we choose to go that way. What we could do instead is if we head over here, hey, look at this. this door seems different from the others, it's all gold and shiny. Mm -mm. There's also this weird pig. Maybe we should do some reconnaissance first. Good morning. This entrance is strictly for Kanashiro Bank employees. For entry, please display your key card and pay 10,000 yen. <sighs> I get that the employees would have to show their key cards, but they gotta pay too, and that definitely ain't cheap. I see. So Kanashiro even use his employee his own employees as exploitable resources. I'm sure it'll make him a little money, but I doubt it'll amount to anything substantial. What, do you want what should do? we do? I don't think we should have to pay Kanashiro. And we don't. Yeah, I think we'd be better off looking for some other solution here. Pay no attention to my millions. <clears throat> but yeah, you don't have to pay money to get through, uh, to get around in this area. That's just an option if you wanted to shortcut this dungeon. But there's, honestly, there's no reason to. And yeah, 10,000 is a decent chunk of change, so... We'll get ourselves some new chest gear that I'll worry about a little later. And that should do it for this area. So, let's head on back to that, uh, 
treasure chest and locked door that we saw earlier. Because we can use that to get further in the area instead. Yeah, the golden door would let you bypass enemies, but why would you want to do that anyway? I can feel it. Hello? It's trying to ambush you. Get back here. I'll reveal your true form. Rude. That enemy was really weak. Alrighty. I can feel it. Just need to sneak around a little bit here and bust down this uh, panel. Probably should have done that before taking on that enemy, but whatever. Hindsight is as always 2020. I mean, quite literally, 2020 is behind us. Thank fucking god. We need to go this way. I got turned around. Alright, we just need to be careful when it comes to the uh, lights around here. This is a green one, so it won't actually go away. And there's a savage enemy on the other side of it all. But nothing I can't handle. Ooh, assault dive. Heavy physical to one. Let's get rid of lunge. And Garula, which is stronger wind damage to one, so we can get rid of Garu. Okay. We beat him. All right. Alright, Yusuke's almost tapped on SP, which is probably a sign that we're going to need to, in the relatively near future, use uh, one of our stamina kits. Or curries, but my curry's a little more busted than yours is, so I'll probably try to avoid that. Habu. We got more cameras over that side, and we've got. Where'd the enemy go? Can't let anyone through here. Well, Show see, the thing about goal. that is. Ah, here we go. Alrighty, we can head on over here. There's another golden pig there, but there are two green cameras directly focused on top of it, so there's not much we can really do about that right now, because uh, there's no way to get to it safely. So, we're just going to have to head on back and uh, find a new way forward. Oop, I almost walked into that. Alright, well, let's maneuver around these. Uh, I do not believe your party members can trigger cameras, uh, despite the fact that they exist in physical space, so I wouldn't worry too much about that one. I'd uh, just focus on trying to get to the end. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's what we use to deactivate the security cameras. There we go. Now we have the keypad over here, and we've also got a couple of golden pigs we need to go deal with, so... Uh, I'm gonna go grab those before we uh, even touch the pin number, just to show off uh, what you need to know. So you got torn page three over here, which says U equals A. Uh, let's see, if we run back to where we saw that other golden pig in this hallway over here. We get page four, which is G equals P. You keeping track of all this, viewers? No? Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> if you're playing along, anyway. Uh... So this one... Hey, it's another one of them input things. This time the word's, uh, hugs. It says huge, you moron. Can you even read? So we'll need to transpose this one into numbers, too. I hope we can do it with the hints we have. So yeah, uh, at this point we should have all of the hints right now, so the pin being huge. Uh... The code here is 2, 3, 1, 9. And there we go!
This isn't enough. I need to have a huge presence. What now? I'm done having other people walk all over me. It's my turn now. You are he is beyond redemption. It seems he cares not for those he tramples upon himself. Every step we take is strengthening my resolve. Let's push onwards. Want to go back to the vault then? Uh, yes, let's. We haven't seen a save room in a little while, so I'm going to take a quick dip back to the underground vault save room and use a stamina kit because some of us are running pretty low. Okay, that should help us out. It wasn't much, but it is something, and that's more than what we need, so. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Check it out. This one's open for us now, too. This movement, there could be no doubt. Hmm? Did you notice something? Um... The entire floor is the cylinder of a lock. What do you mean? Can you explain that a little more? If the cylinder is the mechanism that judge the cylinder is the mechanism that judges if a key is in the proper shape is shape. If you use the correct key and all the discs align, the lock opens. Indeed. Now that you mention it, while the walls rotate, the path forward has remained facing the same way. So you're saying that the whole floor is just one giant lock? That's right. All the smaller vaults in here aren't important. There has to be an area further in, locked away by the room itself. All right, and that's go. where the treasure's gonna be. Sweet, let's get going. Alrighty, well if you turn around over here, uh oh, look at this guy, look at this dude, another one of these jerks, what's it doing here? Look, behind it, another button device, the shadow must be protecting it. What do you it seems do? like we'll have to take it down and move on, are you ready for this joker? Hell yeah I am. Hm. You guys must be the rats we've been hearing about. Well, Mr. Kanashir ordered me absolutely not to let to absolutely not let anyone pass this point, except your death. Oh, oh, that guy's strong. I mean, it actually is kind of strong. This guy is the life draining spirit. Uh, Kubanda, Kum, Band, Kumbhan, the life draining spirit. Uh, this thing also likes to use bloodbath to inflict uh, rage on everyone as well as doing physical damage. Uh, I can also use Aga for curse damage, um, but it is weak to bless and you can hit it with technicals uh, if you strike it with certain status ailments. Haha, uh, nice counter. Sleep, Confuse, and Brainwash will work. I don't think we actually have any of those uh, on the party at the moment, so I'm just gonna heal. Uh, let's not use that. Let's use Salt Dives. We just got it. Oh, is this version not weak to Bless? Oh, it is. I just didn't know it was weak to Bless. That's all. Okay, well, that'll make our life a little easier. Alrighty. Easy enough. Huh? This one doesn't have a password or anything. I guess that's why the shadow is protecting it. Hmm, it doesn't seem to require any keys, but there are buttons on the left and right of the box. Hey, hey. There must be a reason that thing was guarding it. Let's try and figure out why. Uh, let's see. We want to move it left. Hitting that, we'll shift the walls in a certain direction. There we go. The reason why we want to shift it left instead of right is because there's a will seed nearby. Alright, so if we shift that one to the left, and then we move it left again. It seems. Okay, there we go, and that'll lead us to where we want to go for the will seed. It won't lead us to the end, but it will lead us to the will seed. Now, before I move on, 
Okay, that's what I need to know. It would be good to us to get another level for Makoto, but I'm not going to go around for it. So we're just going to kind of play this where it lies and see where we end up what heading. Do? This one's going to be a bit of a tough fight, but we should be able to handle it. What are your thoughts? What are you doing here? But since you're here, it'll be the last of you. Let's do this. Here it comes. Get ready. Okay, so this is the Guard Dog of Hades. Also known as Cerberus, which is not surprising. Even though it doesn't really look much like a dog, it kind of looks more like a lion, and it doesn't have three heads, and... It isn't all fiery or... They, they, this thing doesn't look like a Cerberus at all! Anyway, um, the guard dog of Hades here uh, is weak to ice. Uh, it also has Counter-Strike, which occasionally lets it repel physical attacks. So you don't want to use your physical against it, uh, because you'll just get countered. Uh, it can also inflict rage on party members, which causes you to take more damage, and because you have, it has Counter-Strike, it can cause you to hit yourself uh, with your own physical attacks, which is very very bad uh, and it has a lot of uh, it has a lot of area of effect uh, abilities like Vajra uh, Blast like Makoto here has uh, as well as Maragion which is <laughs> not pleasant okay we got crit Not hurt a lot. Um, Ren's next. Let's see. I believe Moragion or fire damage does more against the target inflicted with rage as well, so that's also not very pleasant. Uh, could go for a memory blow. I think I want to go for a Zio, and that's why. Uh, oh lord. If we had nuke somewhere, we could technical. And potentially even get the knockdown. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want the all out attack, that's why, so. Let's go. Even though we could get the technical off of physical skills, I don't want to, because I also don't want to get hit with shock in this fight. I really shouldn't. You know what, I'm just gonna do it and put my dick on the table. If this works, it'll be cool. Uh-oh. Okay, it's still shocked. GG's. What does that do? Oh, dizzy. Nifty. And now we get the energy shower that I had wanted. In case we got hit with rage, I was going to use energy shower to cleanse. Uh, but I guess we don't really need that. So there we go. And of course, down here. Kaneshiro stolen from so many people. Now we're taking his will seats. I suppose it's karma. The third and final will seat right here. Let's go ahead and take it. We're still a gluttony. A will seed. Well, that's the last of them for this palace. Yep. All right. I'm going to double check what that does real quick, so I'm going to have to censor this part out. Uh, it has 
a defense buff for all allies uh, equipped on it, so that's pretty decent, actually. That's really decent. Uh, who do I want to slap that on to? Let's go with Makoto for now. It's not, a, it's not as if she can't learn the skill ever, but it's a decent skill for her to have. All right. So that takes care of the last uh, wheel seed. We've gotten pretty far into the vault and we're almost at the bottom to where the uh, treasure is. So next time on Let's Play uh, Persona 5 Royal, we're going to wrap up this palace, I think. Uh, or at least the infiltration and securing the treasure around and then we'll see about uh, taking Kanashiro's heart. See you guys then.